Hello, it is time for lesson number 49 of our Women of the Bible. This one is going to be on Herodias and Salome. And remember, I was telling you there were two Salomes. We read the one, and then I said there was another one. This is the other one. She's the bad one. Okay. So, Herodias and Salome. We're going to be reading first from Matthew chapter 14, verses 3 through 11. Okay. Matthew 14, 3 through 11. For Herod had laid hold on John and bound him and put him in prison for Herodias' sake, his brother Philip's wife. For John said unto him, It is not lawful for thee to have her. And when he would have put him to death, he feared the multitude because they counted him a pro as a prophet. But when Herod's birthday was kept, the daughter of Herodias danced before them, and pl it pleased Herod. Whereupon he promised with an oath to give her whatsoever she would ask him. And she, being before instructed of her mother, said, Give me here John Baptist's head in a charger. And the king was sorry, nevertheless, for the oath's sake. And them which sat with him at meat, he commanded it to be, be given her. And he sent and beheaded John in the prison. And his head was brought in a charger and given to the damsel. And she brought it to her mother. Okay, we're going to go ahead and read the notes on this one if there is any. Um, the description of John's death is a flashback prompted by her... Herod's spect speculation that Jesus might be John the Baptist raised from the dead. This Herod is Herod Antipas, one of the sons of Herod the Great. He is identified by Matthew as a tetrarch and by Mark as the king. Okay, and then it's got us going to Mark chapter 6 verses 17 through... So Mark chapter 6, make sure you, chapter 6 verses 17 through 28. For Herod himself had sent forth and laid hold upon John and bound him in prison for Herodias' sake, his brother Philip's wife, for he had married her. For John had said unto Herod, it is not lawful for thee to have thy brother's wife. Therefore Herodias had a quarrel against him and would have killed him, but she could not. For Herod feared John, knowing that he was a just man and unholy and observed him. And when he heard him, he did many things and heard him gladly. And when a covenant and when a covenant day was come that Herod on his birthday made a supper, to his lords, his captains, and chief estates of Galilee. And when the daughter of the said Herodias came in and danced and pleased Herod, and them that sat with him, the king said unto the damsel, Ask of me whatsoever thou wilt, and I will give it to thee. And he swore unto her, Whatsoever thou shalt ask of him, I will give it thee, unto the half of my kingdom. And she went forth and said unto her mother, what shall I ask? And she said, The head of John the Baptist. And she came in straightway with haste unto the king, and asked, saying, I will that thou give me, by and by, in a charger, the head of John the Baptist. And the king was exceeding sorry, yet for his oath's sake, and for their sakes which sat with him, he would not reject her. And immediately the king sent an executioner and commanded his head, to be brought, and he went and beheaded him in the prison. Um, and brought his head in a charger and gave it to the damsel, and the damsel gave it to her mother. Let's see if there's any notes on this one, 17 through 28. Yeah. It seems that Herod has fallen in love with his sister-in-law, Herodias, and has divorced his wife and convincing Herodias to divorce her husband in order to get married. John has criticized the marriage and Herodias wants to have him killed. 
Herodias sees an opportunity for revenge at Herod's birthday banquet. She has her daughter named Salome, according to a historian, according to the historians, perform a dance for the assembled group of leading men of Galilee because he enjoyed the show so much. He promised the young dancer anything at her mother's urging. She asked for the head of John the Baptist on a platter with all eyes on him. Herod has little choice but to comply even though he is distressed. John's disciples come to claim his body and bury him. And then it's got us reading from Luke chapter 3 verse 19. Didn't mark that one right. No, I did. I have too many papers in here. Okay, 3 verse 19. But Herod the tet tetra Tetrarch, 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 being reproved by him, but for her Herodias' breath, a start over. But Herod the Tetrarch, being reproved by him for Herodias, his brother Philip's wife, and for all the evils which Herod had done. Um, I don't think there's nothing to read. In the bottom on that one, there is not. Okay, so that was... Herodias hated John the Baptist for condemning her relationship with her husband's brother, persuaded her daughter Salome to ask for John's head on a platter. I don't have what Herodias, the name meant. Okay, no, it's right here. Meaning of Herodias, feminine of Herod, meaning song of the hero. And Salome was Hebrew, meaning peace, which she went peaceful. Okay, and then our added little extra here is, May your days be filled with peace. May your heart be filled with joy. May your soul be filled with gratitude. May your relationship with God and your loved ones strengthen and grow. May you see the needs of others and be quick to respond. May you find the strength to face whatever trials come your way. And may you always know how loved you are and that you are never alone. And that is Lesson 49 in the books for us. I will be back with Lesson 50. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I love you all and I will see you soon. Mwah. Bye.